Hi there everyone and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the glyphs from an OTF font that has glyphs and today I'm going to use a Samantha font and I'm going to show you how to use it in Silhouette Studio and how to access those glyphs. Okay so first up we need to use Silhouette. I've opened it up for you and let's just type a basic word. We'll type the font so that's Samantha. I'm going to highlight that and color it in and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Now I'm going to go to my fonts. I'm going to highlight in the font style and type in the font I'm looking for which is Samantha. And it's found it for me and I will click on it. There you go. There is the font. Now as you can see, it's a beautiful font, but there's no fancy swirly S's or glyphs underneath, which is like, you know, scrolls or things like that. We need to actually access those ourselves. So to do that, we need to use character maps. If you have a Mac computer, you will need to use and open your font book, which is a similar kind of process. You can find tutorials about that if you Google it on the internet. So I'm going to go up to my character map and double click. If you can't, if you don't have character map actually on your desktop, go down to your window bar and you can type it here and it will, you will find it there for you and you can just double click on it. Okay, so there's my character map. I'm going to go back into my Silhouette Studio and <clears throat> you scroll down to find some, your, the font that you need to use, which is for me, Samantha Upright. So I've clicked on it. And as you can see, it has all of the, all of the letters capitals and little letters and everything else and it's just the basic font. If you go down to group by and highlight that you'll find that there is a collection of different words. If you go down to Unicode subrange and highlight that and click. Now once you've done that you will find a group by button will come up and you can see it here. This has got lots of different things you need to look at but the one we're after today is private use characters. So if we click on that and highlight it, what you'll see come up in your character map little window is all the different glyphs and everything you can choose from. Now, if I can scroll through that, as you can see, every single letter of the alphabet. Now, we're looking for an S. So let's find an S. So we'll click on that S there. And you can see a little tiny box comes up and you can see what it looks like. If you like it, double click. And it will come up in your little box here that says characters to copy. You click on copy and that will copy it to your clipboard. Alternatively, you can press control C, which will also copy it. So highlight control C and you've copied it. Click onto silhouette, which will make that disappear. Right click, select paste, and that will paste your letter. Now, as you, as you can see, if I can move it, it's come up as a little box. That's because we actually haven't highlighted it as Samantha font. So highlight your square little box, go to font style, type in Samantha again, click on Samantha font, and there you have it. I'm going to color that in so you can see it a little bit clearer. And if I bring that out larger, you can see that your glyph has turned up there. Okay, so now to add it to your word, we don't want two S's, click on the word Samantha, ungroup, which is this down here, click on the S for Samantha, scroll that away, bring your S to where you want it to go. Now you can actually make that larger or smaller. I'm going to make it quite large so it looks quite cute. If you want to, you can even make it what you can make it wider, smaller, however you want it. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to highlight the rest of my words and just move them across a little bit to fit perfectly. There we go. Now you can highlight the whole lot, group, and there you have it. You've now put one of the glyphs, which was the swirly S, onto it. And you can cut this in your silhouette software up the top here. Um, if you want to, you can print it and click on print, which will bring up the printers. Um, it's up to you. You can do this as many times as you like with any different one you want. Just remember each time to delete what you've got in your characters to copy box. Um, you can actually have a look down here and we can find that we have lots of different swirls. Some words already done for you. 
So if you had the word the, you could you could pick up th already pre-connected for you. Um, you've also got different glyphs here. So we can click on this one, double click that in, copy it. There we go. And we can then try and put it with the Samantha font again. And that will give you a different glyph again. So it's very easy to do. Um, thank you for watching. If you're looking for any other tutorials, please come and check out my blog, which is www.lokimadeit.blogspot.com. And I have lots of tutorials there that you can have a look at. Um, I'm also I'm also putting up some tutorials on the Heidi Swap Mink machine and also the new Silhouette Mint machine, which is a stamping machine. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.